Indian Economy Series 1 10 Government Schemes You Need to Know First up Digital India launched on 1st July 2015 to transform India's economy Digital India has three core components These include the creation of digital infrastructure delivering services digitally digital literacy The top second scheme you need to know is Smart Cities launched on 29th April 2015 in first government of India will develop 100 smart cities in India under the scheme cities from all states are selected next Skill India launched on 15th July 2015 to create jobs for youth of the country skill development in youth making skills available to all youth of india next swachh bharat abhiyan launched on 2nd october 2014 to have clean india by 2nd october 2019 eliminate open defecation by constructing toilets for household communities eradicate manual scavenging introduce modern and scientific municipal solid waste management practices enable private sector participation in the sanitation sector change people's attitude to sanitation and create awareness the fifth scheme pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana launched on 9th may 2050 eligibility available to people in the age group 18 to 70 years with a bank account premium rupees 12 per annum payment mode The premium will be directly auto debited by the bank from the subscriber's account. This is the only mode available. Risk coverage for accidental death and full disability rupees 2 lakh and for partial disability rupees 1 lakh. Eligibility any person having a bank account and aadhar number linked to the bank account can give a simple form to the bank every year. before 1st of june in order to join the scheme name of nominee to be given in the form next up beti bachao beti padhao yojana it was launched on 22nd january 2015 main aim to generate awareness of welfare services meant for girl child and women next pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana it was launched on 9th may 2015 life insurance scheme by government eligibility available to people in the age group of 18 to 50 and having a bank account people who join the scheme before completing 50 years can however continue to have the risk of life cover up to the age of 55 years subject to payment of premium premium rupees 330 per annum it will be auto debited in one installment payment mode The payment of premium will be directly auto debited by the bank from the subscriber's account. Risk coverage rupees 2 lakh in case of death for any reason. Terms of risk coverage a person has to opt for the scheme every year. He can also prefer to give a long term option of continuing in which case his account will be auto debited every year by the bank who will implement the scheme. The scheme will be offered by Life Insurance Corporation and all other life insurers who are willing to join the scheme and tie up with banks for this purpose. Coming up, Indradhanush scheme, Mission Indradhanush was launched by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India on December 25th, 2014. The Mission Indradhanush depicting seven colors of the rainbow. aims to cover all those children by 2020 who are either unvaccinated or are partially vaccinated against seven vaccines preventable diseases which include diphtheria whooping cough tetanus polio tuberculosis measles and hepatitis b the last two schemes are atal innovation mission and setu in niti ayog The Union Cabinet has given its approval for establishment of Atal Innovation Mission (AIM) and Self Employment and Talent Utilization (SETU) in Niti Aayog. 
This move seeks to give a substantial boost to the innovation ecosystem and to catalyze the entrepreneurial spirit in the country. AIM and AIM Directorate will be established that will help in implementation of mission activities in a focused manner. Its headquarters will be in New Delhi. Niti Aayog will hire mission director and other appropriate manpower. The Mission High Level Committee MHLC will guide the mission. It will take all decision related to approval of requisite guidelines and implementation of various elements of AIM and SETU. Finally, Stand Up India scheme. The Stand Up India scheme is being launched to promote entrepreneurship among people from scheduled caste and scheduled tribe and women who will be provided loans starting from rupees 10 lakhs to 100 lakhs. Composite loan between rupees 10 lakh and up to rupees 1 crore will be provided to entrepreneurs for setting up new enterprise. Debit card, rupee for withdrawal or working capital.